Welcome to my little video about dryer vents. Uh, nine, uh, probably about 80% of the problem with dryers is the vents. The vents get plugged up. This, If you notice this one's not too bad. I just grabbed a handful of brush and pulled it away from the vent uh, there. And it's not too plugged up here. You can see this is the kind that collects the debris. I cleaned this out about a week ago. And these things will get plugged up and cause the dryer to shut down. It'll uh, blow an internal thermal fuse inside the dryer and cause it to not heat. It'll run but not heat. And this one's fairly clean. It's a short run between the dryer. The dryer's just on the other side of the wall in here. Uh, I don't like to see these things uh, or anything else near the uh, the vent just because it'll blow that thermal cutoff uh, fuse in the dryer and uh, it's kind of a hassle if you can't uh, you know dry your clothes when you need to and so anyway, I, I, I've actually seen barbecues and all kinds of things. They sit in front of this thing. will shut it, shut the flow down. And of course, you want to have flow into the room too. So uh, in, in this case, they have a cat kind of walk thing here in the back. And they've got that window open all the time, which is good because they have, they're going to feed their dryer with lots of air. And so anyway, that's my little... Uh, uh, video about dryer vents and so you want to make sure uh, the kinks are minimized and then check inside it's always a good idea to turn your dryer on and check the flow on the outside I uh, there's a mathematical formula but I don't do the numbers basically I look for a good uh, flow and so I estimate the flow to be about two two hair dryers blowing uh, full blast um, and uh, if you notice that your clothes aren't drying as quick as they used to, this could be a problem. So make sure you got good vent uh, exhaust and good uh, flow into the room. And I hope that helps. Thanks.